With this project, we really wanted to show how versatile the new Taycan Cross Turismo is. So we challenged Johnny to join this project. This was a seriously epic project. We have a lot of uh, really talented people involved. This is next level. Cut! <laughs> My name is Johnny Cher, and I'm the FPV pilot that is filming this project. This is Johnny's last chance to make a move. Through the North Passage, Johnny spins oh. the speed! Johnny oh gets God. the win! Johnny is one of the best drone racers in the world. He was racing for years before the cinematic aspect of this. So when it comes to the action, he can nail it every time. I think that Johnny is getting so good at now. Johnny is an expert in his field. I mean, when we saw what he can do with the precision, how he can fly, it's amazing to see the drone passing by and then Johnny knows what he's doing, definitely knows what he's doing. Johnny is a mad boy, <laughs> he's amazing. Collaborating with Johnny is outstanding. He's one of the most spatially intelligent pilots that you could possibly work with. But he's an artist, you know, he knows what makes good shots. No, I think we, we do one again. I try and start a bit earlier and just try and keep it tighter. My camera tilt's not right for this. All right, let's reset. And he's a perfectionist. So when you put all those things together, it really comes out with a great result. action. Alright, so this is the, the drone we're going to be using. Custom built by Performance FPV, aka Johnny FPV. So with FPV, typically people have always just used GoPros and action cameras. So to step it up and to efficiently like carry the heavier payload and to maintain performance, you need the extra propellers, eight propellers, eight motors, which is amazing. Throw this thing around and get some really good quality stuff with the nicer camera. Beautiful little uh, little rocket ship here. We're gonna try this out with the wave camera. So it's more of a quality comparison. See how it does. So we just put the wave on. It's this uh, very high frame rate camera. 480 frames, which is obviously insane. Oh man. And there's your out. Oh yeah, that's my fantastic. god. That was heavy. Might be one of the sickest shots of all time. Pretty good, but they, they have all the fingertips off. Without the, the fingertip nice. feel, it's impossible. So, no good. This happened. You can do it. Show us. Wow. The important thing on this shoot is to keep Johnny warm and comfortable while flying and part of that has been making sure that he's got warm batteries ready, any lens changes, anything that needs to be done where we're there because in these sub 30 temperatures the more we can help definitely helps with the workflow. Definitely a bit more room, obviously. Timing is the most important thing for sure. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Johnny Crash? Uh, yeah, I think so. I didn't see it. We had a propeller explode from the roost. All the sand, there's some thicker chunks in there, and I uh, guess. Yeah. We just 
center crash. Camera's not looking too hot, and, but the drone is primarily okay. There's a couple of broken pieces on the top. We're gonna head back and uh, start figuring out how to get this thing back in the air. In FPV world, you've got to expect crashes. That's, that's just part of the job, and Johnny has had his fair share of them. Propellers, man, they gotta make them more durable. This is kind of chaotic. Desert has been pure carnage. We were burning through, I don't know, like 20, 30 propellers on the first day. So we found some more durable propellers. All in all, I think it's part of the job. That's why it's so difficult to do, because you crash a lot. And Johnny doesn't crash a lot, but you can't let it affect the workflow. You can't let it affect the creativity, because that's what looks so amazing. But at the end of the day, when you nail those shots, it's putting everything on the line. And that's where the magic happens. The most difficult thing about this shot is uh, linking up all different parties, so it should be spectacular. Uh, huskies are barking away, ready to go. Yuka's driving has been on point all day, so we just gotta time everything. Oh my god!